Hello and welcome to JCA Friday. Today is focused on women's rights and we'll be looking at a range of stories including the Tesco payday crisis, the JCA netball tournament and how we're tackling speeding on Jerry Clay Lane. Recently, six of JCA's own students went off to compete in a netball tournament in Alvathorpe. This team was Hannah Skinner, Grace Sellers, Alexia Lawrence, Daniel Bielk, Sam Aldred, Noah Martin and Evie Fawcett. After a great tournament, the team came second. Also, in school we have brought some new cameras funded by the school council to produce good quality pictures of your learning to use in books and on displays and we have upgraded our laptops which the school funded because of complaints that ours were becoming slow and some even not working. Now let's see what's been going on in our community in Renthorpe. Our school is trying to get the council to put stop signs on Jerry Lane to allow cars to drive safely down the lane and ensure that cars do not speed or drive on paths as this could lead to the injury or even death of children cross crossing the roads. This is why on Wednesday morning there were four police officers stood on either end of Jericho Lane controlling the traffic. But how did women get their rights? A group called the Suffragettes led by Christabel Pankhurst, was certain that women should have their rights to vote and pursued this view by damaging properties and disturbing events. Here's Billy with Tesco's latest news. Thousands of women who work in Tesco stores could have been underpaid a total of £20,000. Lawyers say that hourly paid female store staff earn less than men even though the value of the work is the same. Tesco said it worked hard to ensure all staff were paid fairly and equally However, this proved a lie. There are many other signs of women discrimination, for example, men in many cases due to the proof that women are less likely to complain about their pay and get more money than women. So let's say hello to our special guest, Izzy Brown, with her poem about suffragette. The 1918 was when the new age began. That year before it was only man, but 1903 made suffragettes plead, give women the vote they surely need. Glass and windows shattered on the floor, Burning buildings and outraged galore. Fifteen years it took for there to be a better Britain for a woman like me. In today's episode, we explain how the netball team had an exciting tournament in Alvathorpe and the school got new amazing laptops and cameras. We also told you about the incredibly brave suffragettes who did everything to achieve votes for women. Izzy, our special guest, created this brilliant poem about suffragettes' fantastic adventures. Billy explained to us how. The police are making sure that no one's speeding or parking in inappropriate places to ensure our safety. Have a good half term.